Uber Lugo's shop in downtown Caracas specializes in selling old bills. Some are carefully kept, almost as if fresh from the mint, while others seem carelessly stacked. Lugo says he loves old and new alike, but admits that the story his prized collection tells is grim. This reflects the loss of the currency's power that Venezuelans suffer. This bill, when it came out in 1981, was equivalent to $116. Now it is only equal to 50 cents, which isn't even good enough for a candy. A recent report leaked from within Venezuela's central bank puts the oil-rich country's inflation rate at 270 percent. According to economists, it is the worst crisis in the country's modern history. Venezuela is in the process of hyperinflation, huge fiscal deficit financed by money printing, lack of foreign reserve, and the only commodity of importance in its foreign trade oil falling at levels below uh, over the last 11 years. So it's the perfect storm. Hardship is being widely felt by Venezuelans, where according to a recent academic study, poverty has increased from 25% to almost 70% in just one year. Because it depends almost exclusively on oil, Venezuela's economy is particularly vulnerable to a fluctuation in oil prices. This recent drop has left the economy here in free fall, with shortages of the most basic goods and salaries that evaporate almost on a daily basis. This mix, many fear, could bring on a wave of social upheaval. Omar Huerta, an informal food vendor who works night shifts as a phone operator in a bank, says that even two jobs aren't enough. This situation affects us deeply. On top of it, we can't find what we need, so we're constantly having to find new ways to make things work. Experts fear the magnitude of this economic crisis could snowfall into a social commotion, as more and more people are affected by the country's deep recession. Virginia Lopez, Al Jazeera, Caracas.